Have you ever met a person who, when they eat sunflower seeds, they just chew them? They just chew them shell and all and then swallow every little sharp shard of sunflower seeds? You're not supposed to do that. That's what they do, man. That's what they do. I know these people. Those are cool people. Those people are metal, like Jet Set Radio Future Music. What do they do with their coffee? Do they just, like, boil it? coffee beans? (laughs) Like, they don't even... Yep. I've Actually, chewed coffee beans. I know, people who chew, I know people who chew coffee beans. Yeah. Please do not conflate chewing coffee beans with chewing sunflower seeds. It's not the same. How are they different, Tucker? Michael! Because they put chocolate on coffee beans and you eat them. They don't put chocolate on sunflower seeds, sir. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This sounds like you just came up with a great culinary idea that we could sell easily sell to those... Those generic candy makers that make all of the not raisinette chocolate covered raisins at the supermarket. Gross. Yeah. What's yeah. your what's your regional supermarket called, Michael? Uh we have Hannaford's. Hannaford's? Hannaford's. Hannaford's. Weird. That's a good name. Yeah, it's an okay place. Do you have Trader Joe's out there or is that a uh in Burlington? So our closest thing to a big city. Okay. Yeah. I went to a NASCAR race once in Tennessee. And outside of the racetrack, after everyone was heading back to the campground or whatever, they were handing out vault soda, if you remember what this Mm. vault soda was. It was supposed to be like this hybrid energy drink soda stuff. I do remember this. And, yeah, they were handing out cans of it. And I think you were only supposed to get one, but they were like like eight ten people handing them out and they didn't they weren't keeping track there were crowds of people coming in so i got my hands on like eight of them and then my dad got one my dad's friends got two and so i drank like 14 bolts that night it was wonderful i was i i had to pee like every 15 seconds and i couldn't sit still i uh i drank one of those kool-aid jammers if you guys are familiar it made me have to pee constantly. <laughs> I thought I needed to go to the hospital or something for like days afterward. Holy maybe, crap. Maybe it was, you know, correlation causation or something, but I drank one of those and there was a lot of urination going on. I mean, what if you were drinking more of it because, not because mm. you wanted to, but because you kept peeing so much. So like, <laughs> what terrifying. if the relationships are reverse here? Yeah. It just where rather husk. than you by you drinking it, you peed a lot more that you peed a lot, so you had to try to make up for the lost fluids by drinking a lot of a lot of Kool Aid jammers. I wouldn't call Kool Aid jammers a fluid necessarily. <laughs> it's like a it's an corn ooze. syrup. <laughs> yeah, mm. I mean, it we're was kids the blue though. One. That's healthy. Yeah, anything that's rainbow, like like it's a color on the rainbow, is probably healthy because it means it's a fruit. Yeah, like blue raspberries. Yeah, I love blue flavor. <laughs> I love blue. Uh, <laughs> What's the plot to this game? Check this what out, dude. Happening? Check this out. Check this out. <laughs> Double jump. <laughs> that looks really good. Wait, what? It's the jump, double jump logo. Oh wow! Are you tagging? <laughs> yeah. Ooh. I am. Michael, what does this box say? Oh, I can't look at it because I'm oh, moving no. I'm on an incline. Oh no. I can't see it close enough. Oh, hello. <laughs> um Mega Man diapers. What's a Sedumaku? <laughs> uh <laughs> kinda asking you that question, Michael, to be honest. Well you see, because it's not they wouldn't use that alphabet mm. if it was an actual Japanese. Well word. this is Neo Tokyo. Oh that's true. This is after the And also hit, I'm talking so. on my ass for all you know. <laughs> but uh It's okay. How am I doing here? Oh, there's one right over here. Well, um, it's food a nouveau. Do you like Chibo Mato there, Michael? I listened to Chibo Mato the other day. You're listening to and it right now. I was like, now, I like this. Brother. What's uh? Okay, so okay. Oh. What is happening in this game? What is the plot? Why are you a skater boy? And why is the government trying to say see you later, boy? Because. The evil Rokaku. Uh, right. He's like a he's like a, a corporate overlord kind of guy, you know. And he wants to he wants to eliminate 
free speech for the people, you know? People mm -hmm. are trying to express themselves with graffiti, and he's saying, no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Any other skin through to you, Michael? No, actually, it, yeah. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. It's kind of complex. This is I like one of my you. Japanese anime. It's <laughs> very much. I forget what the first game's about. I think it's just like Turf Wars or something. <laughs> anime Turf Wars. I'd buy it. My yes. Okay. Excellent. Good job. What's boogie? You know what song I've been listening to a lot? Uh, Hotel California by the Eagles. No, thankfully no. The yeah, impression that I get by no. Mighty Mighty Boss song? Okay. Oh, you mean the best ska song ever written? Superman? Tucker, you would know. You would know what is song. It, is it Steal My Sunshine? By it Len? is Steal My Sunshine. Oh my Len. god! Yeah. Everyone's favorite Canadian hip-hop group? That has one song? Is that song? a Canadian They have group? two songs, sir. They did the Kids in America version that plays in the Digimon movie, so... Oh, okay. Hold I your see. tongue. I'm okay, sorry. who did this song? Wait... Are we t we're, okay, so we're talking like that. That oh, I can't think of how it goes. Dun 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 dun. dun, dun. Steal my sunshine. <laughs> you got it. That was beautiful. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because I don't know they're Canadian. Go ahead. Hmm? Hmm. Nice. So I haven't heard "Steal My Sunshine" since I was like eight years old, and Tucker mentioned it, and like some some neuron fired <laughs> in my brain, and I was like, okay, I recognize this. Like I've heard this song before, and then I look it up and I listen to it, and it put me in this like nostalgic state, like this nostalgic neurosis. Oh my god! My eyes just kind of glazed over, and then like my brain just goes into a different dimension and I just can't process things anymore. Do you guys ever go into these weird nostalgic states? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's good to hear. So yeah, I, that that happens to me every time I listen to it and it will until I get like bored of it. Yeah. That that's what happened with uh what's that bare naked lady song? One week. One week. Uh, one yeah, week. One. Also yeah, on the Digimon movie soundtrack. It is on. The <laughs> is there, yes, that is, that is the first thing I think of when I hear that <laughs> oh, song. Oh, this is hilarious. So is Digimon. All My Friends Are Metalheads by Less Than Jake. Wow. So is wow. Smash Mouth. So is I Smash mean, All Star by Smash Mouth. Um, Mighty Mighty Boss Tones are on there. Uh, yeah, that one, yeah. yeah. That's all I can it's, think of. <laughs> it's scary how much of that movie soundtrack is just my musical tastes. <laughs> <laughs> I listen to those songs. I don't That's know. Sad. There's nothing wrong with late '90s, early 2000s. That's that's my life. Punk. That's all I've listened to for the past ten years. That's okay. You say that, but I don't believe you anymore, Christian. I don't know. Like I'll listen to classic rock on the radio sometimes, but that doesn't do it for me anymore. <laughs> it steals his sunshine. It uh, does. Guys, how like come you can parts? grind uphill? They have uh, magnetic roller skates. Is the uh, wait, is that like it the canon reason, or are you just yes. kind of like... Okay. I believe that is the canon reason. Okay. Okay. Ah! Make me feel so boy. That Steal My Sunshine song, I think, is on an episode of Futurama. Oh. Which is probably... Cool. No, the last time I heard it was actually on the radio, like, two days ago. Yikes. Then, yeah. Before then, it would have been on a... <laughs> the Futurama. guy was just in the room, he's like, I played every other song. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Do it. I watched like a 20 second VH1 interview of Len about their Steal My Sunshine song, and he's like, Yeah, you know, we kind of just wanted to take a vacation, and so we yeah. we filmed the song while we did that. <laughs> yeah, their music video is just them getting drunk somewhere, and it's like, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Riding mopeds, orange mopeds. And I think it's in slow motion, but I can't quite tell. Yeah. And I don't understand how they would like lip sync. I in think, fast motion? I think they played it... Yeah, they like played it slower than usual and then lip-synced it to that, maybe? Would that um, yeah, maybe. I think it is a thing where they'll do... Where they'll just have you... They'll have someone do like a faster version of the song as a okay. way to be able to create that slow motion effect. I know that there've... That's been a thing people have done in the past, even though I can't right, name an cool, actual yeah. song at the moment, but... Huh. Oh, no! I don't think it's unheard of. Oh, no! 
DJ you Professor Kane was in there. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> How do people make such cool things with spray paint? Um, you mean like starry night galaxies over and yeah. over with like planets in it? <laughs> yeah, or like really uh, big cartoony letters like yeah. Nutshack or something. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you taking me to the Nutshack, baby? Yeah, it's, it's the, the Nutshack. Nut Is that where we suck on salted peanut <laughs> yes. shells? Because I'm into that. You nailed it, dude. Yeah.